Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review of some of the other brushes that I picked up at iMats and it's the crown brushes. I have a few face brushes and a few eye brushes so I'm just going to get started. The first one I have for you it's the IB126 chisel brush. And this is it here. It does have a nice soft head on it and I use this for blusher. Uh, this has washed really well. It doesn't shed too badly. There is the odd hair that will come out of it. Um, it has a nice length handle and everything else. And I have actually really enjoyed using this brush. This is lovely for blusher. It picks up the product really well and transfers it onto your face really well and you can buff that out very nicely. And yeah, this would be really good as well. I think maybe for contouring possibly because it is slightly pointed and has kept its shape quite well after being washed repeatedly. The next face brush I have is C106. It is a point, pointed dome brush and this is synthetic hair obviously. I wouldn't be as fussed on this brush. It doesn't necessarily pick up the product as well as I would like. It is nice and soft. It has washed well and it hasn't shed too badly. Um, if you're looking for a lighter application of blush for example, which is what I use this for, you know, this is quite a good brush for it. You can gradually build it up but it does require more work than this brush for example. This is great for picking up product, this one not so much. So that is the C106 pointed dome brush. The next brush I have, it's not actually a face brush and it is slightly dirty so I apologize but I have just used it to apply my makeup. It is the BK14 Deluxe Oval Brush. It is quite a dense little brush and it has got a nice obviously oval shape to it. I actually use this to apply my under eye concealer, the well rested from Bare Minerals actually. So I rub this in the powder and then I literally press it in like that along you know, that area where I can get a bit dark and it's quite nice as well because of the shape of it I can get in quite close to my tear duct with this brush. This is really really good for applying the product. It packs it on without making it like cakey or anything else it just nicely buffs it really well. It washes quite well and keeps its shape quite well as well. Um, it does shed a wee bit but not massively and it doesn't leave hairs under my eyes or anything it's just you can see the slightly longer hair so I just pull it out. It's just such a very very handy shape I've been really really enjoying this. Next for some eye brushes I'm going to start with the blending brush and these are the SS027 Syntho Deluxe blending crease brush. It's a bit of a mouthful. I've sort of taken the names off the website for the ones that don't have any names on the handles. So one of these is dirty. So that's the blending brushes. These are lovely and soft and they are fantastic blending brushes. I could not recommend these enough. I would actually get some more if I could get my hands on them. I may be putting in an order to crown brushes at some point and I will definitely pick up more. These wash really, really well. They apply the product really, really well. You can go in with such a light hand with these and soften most eye looks out, definitely, with these. Um, yeah, really, really enjoying these, obviously, because one's dirty. I've tried to keep one clean for the video, so. Now, I have some angled brushes. The first is IB113 Talon Liner. Talcon, Talcon Liner? I don't know how you say that. And this is quite a nice angle brush. It isn't the finest angle brush, but this is still nice for gel eyeliner and you can make a nice winged look with this brush. Um, yeah, not much to say about this. I have really enjoyed it. It picks up product well, can be used with gel or with just a bit of eyeshadow, for example. I would sometimes just do a pencil liner and then I would press eyeshadow over the top just to, you know, make a color more intense. And this is great for that as well. I have another angled liner brush and this one is C106 and it's another Taclon liner. It isn't the most narrow of brushes either but it does seem to come to a point at the top a bit. Washes well, picks up product really well and applies it well so no fault with this brush at all. It's just slightly big so yeah. And then finally I have uh, angled brow brush and this is C215 and this is such a tiny angled brush as you can see there and it comes to a lovely fine point. I've actually started to use these brushes more so than the larger angled brushes just because I can 
get a nice fine line with this using gel eyeliner and I've much more control and I'm better able to apply my eyeliner with this so I have really really enjoyed using this. I do have a sponge as well but unfortunately it seems to have gone AWOL. I did actually enjoy using that. I'm still getting the hang of it so I've no big review on it but it washes well however it is slightly stained at this point. So those are all the crown brushes that I have. I would definitely recommend checking them out. The only one I wasn't happy with was this C106 pointed dome brush. It was the only one I wasn't overly fussed on. The rest I have really, really enjoyed, particularly the crease brushes. These blending brushes are brilliant. So recommend checking them out. They're all quite reasonably priced. The face brushes are usually £10 or slightly more. And all these little brushes that I have for my eyes are usually around the two and three pound mark, you know, 250, three pound, etc. They're not gonna be more than a tenner, usually five or at the very most. So would recommend checking those all out. I will leave the link to crown brushes down below and I will be doing a blog post on this as well at some point so you can check that out on my blog. And that is it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Please like if you like, please subscribe if you like and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!